Spirit of Faith Award. David and Janet Chaka. Monza is in the northern part of Zambia, and uh, there isn't, there aren't a lot of opportunities for children up there. For me, I really enjoy meeting and getting to know the people in Zambia. These are some of the nicest, yes. kindest people, and the kids are so uh, innocent and eager to learn. That just your heart goes out to want to help them and help them get an education and help create opportunities for them. I mean, we've been to India, we've done mission trips there, we've done mission trips in South America, but there's something about Zambia and the people in Zambia that were very inspiring to me. And I wanted to be more involved, and when this opportunity came, I thought, wow, this is great, because it's a great country with lots of potential, and I was 100% on board. About five, six years ago, I was uh, introduced uh, by my good friend, Jim Lynch, to uh, Dr. Pardon Mwanza. Uh, I had just returned from a from mission trip in Zambia and, and was sitting right here in this living room telling them about it. From that, we both uh, got on board with uh, this, uh, the building of this school in Zambia. Only one in six uh, children in Zambia go past the sixth grade because there are no high schools. And so the building of this high school is, is going to go a long ways in helping to educate the Zambian children beyond the age of uh, 12 years old. Jim had told us about the desperate need they had. They did not have, a, they did not have any school classroom buildings. <coughs> they were renting a small facility and it was overcrowded. And uh, so he said, look, uh, we need we need a admin building with classrooms desperately. And you know, in Zambia, you know, five to $10,000 can go a long way. So I was under the assumption that that's all would be needed. So I signed on and next thing you know, <laughs> it was quite a bit more than that. <laughs> but we survived and uh, we got the ad building built. The administrative building would consist of 16 classrooms with laboratories, and uh, offices for administration. Our long-term goal that Dr. Mwanza and I have talked about is how can we not only bring education here, but how can we improve the finances and the economics of the people in Mwanza, whether it's microbanking or teaching people entrepreneurship, how to develop businesses, and uh, uh, whether it's farming or raising cattle or chickens, Leadership means being uh, sacrificial in trying to help people in the community. I think that it's very important to give back to the community. And we grow together, we learn together, and nobody's an island. And um, I'm a very strong veteran supporter. I work at the VA. I, I really know what it's like to take care of people that sometimes are down and out and need help. It's really wonderful when you can actually make a difference in somebody's life with, with just a kind word or a medical diagnosis. And because it's just, we're all in this together, we're on the road of humanity. And I think we should be hand in hand marching together.